Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to NWIRC. Today we're going to take this Probo Sonic Wake out for its first ride. I bought this thing used. I'll link the video. If you want to go check it out, you can click it in the iCard or uh, have it in the description when I first bought it. Uh, first thing I had to do was take these straps. I had to get some shorter straps and uh, these were just way too long. I don't know how he was strapping his batteries using these. Unless he had much larger batteries. I'll get you guys a close up here in a second. I'm using these right here. These are some pretty thick straps. They're, they're heavy duty. I really like them. And these are perfect for strapping down pretty much any size battery. But I do have three of those in there that I had just installed. Also, if you want to see the part number, you go ahead and pause the screen. There it is. I'll put a link uh, in. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below, so you guys want to click on it and check it out. They are not affiliate links. I do not get paid to do these videos. All right, just want to give you guys a little close up. Here are the straps installed. I was able to go under the battery tray for this one, and this one I did run it through the stock holes. It is they're a little bit too wide, but they work. They actually work really good. And my battery. These batteries are super light. These are them Z premium packs I'm gonna keep trying out. I'm not sure if I like them or not, but we will see. Uh, I do have them all the way forward and we'll see how it performs that way first. Uh, what else here? Oh, another thing I had to do is the stock servo. Again, I before I went to go take this out in the water and the thing, uh, the servo died. I mean, literally, couldn't even get it out on the first run, but that's expected because everyone knows that the stock servos that come in these pro boats are absolute junk. Complete junk and I recommend if you're gonna buy any kind of pro boat, whatever it is, and you have the stock servo, you might as well order the boat and get you a servo. This might be a little overkill of a servo. It is the high tech 7950 titanium deal. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how she performs. Everything works in it. Um, go ahead and power on the radio. Eventually I'm gonna get a Receiver, so I could bind it to this one because you can't bind them with these older style ones. So, okay, we'll turn on the boat. Test the steering. Yeah, we'll have to adjust some trim, uh, steering trims out there. Let's see how she runs. If you guys remember in the last video, it has the RC boat bits. Um, all upgraded parts back here and uh can't wait to see and uh, can actually do some adjustments here on the stinger which i'm curious and i'm uh, pretty sure that's the stock prop i can't be for certain if the guy had an aftermarket prop or not but it does look factory so yeah let's go ahead and get this thing out for a rip and, and see how well she does all right everybody we are out at the pond as you can see here, we do have some leaves, some debris in there. I'm gonna go ahead and double check everything, make sure everything's working. Okay, let's go ahead and get her in the water, see what she does. Okay, steering is reversed. Go this way, there we go. That's it. I think it's telling me it's in uh, the low voltage mode. Yeah, throttle cut out. That can't be, oops, I just hit the reverse on accident. 
That can't be right, guys, is it? I wasn't even out there for like two minutes. Can you tell me my battery's already died? Get this thing out of here. Let's check it out real quick. I don't want to fall in the pond myself. In one second here, guys. Mm. Let me go ahead and see the steering trim I'm going to go ahead and set real quick. Somehow I knocked that loose. There we go. Yeah, I don't know guys, that was it. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and pop in my 9000 mAh batteries in this thing. Uh, I'm thinking about returning these uh, premium edition Z batteries because uh, they don't work too well on the boats. Uh, yeah, they're... Eh, you know, I got other vehicles I can use them in, so uh, I'm getting into vintage RC cars and uh, you know, model kits, Tamiya and Kyosho. And when I put them together, I might be able to fit these small batteries in the in one tenth scales. So, all right, guys. Oh, by the way, this here is uh, duct tape. It's just red duct tape. And uh, I got this idea from Big B over at Our Ironclad RC. I want to thank him for uh, this idea here. Uh, therefore, uh, stay tuned for the next video, and uh, let's see if we can get some better run times. I might have to do some adjustments over here. It wasn't turning uh, that great, but it'll work. Um, just some minor tuning to do. The servo is plenty powerful for it. Uh, just got to figure out um, maybe something with the turn fins or these tabs here. All right, everybody, so stay tuned, and don't forget to watch the video of the giveaway I'm doing. It's worldwide. It's on the Axial scx 24 crawler and you're getting a lot of upgraded parts a lot of spare parts and everything ready to run so go check out that link and uh i'll pop it down in the description or up in the i card above but hey guys like comment subscribe and have a great day